Here's one of my contacts reviews of Heart of Invictus slash Prince Harry. Must say, he did step back and give athletes a chance to tell their stories. Probs only did an hour of interviews for it. Here's the problem. The hour was not factually accurate. Media all over the world are scolding Prince Harry for rewriting history yet again. The Duke claims he didn't have the support system he needed after the death of his mother, Princess Diana, and that he was bouncing off walls once home from Afghanistan. Harry says in Heart of Invictus, the biggest struggle for me was that no one around me could really help. I didn't have the support structure, that network, or that expert advice to identify what was really going on with me. He says he waited until it was almost too late to get therapy. However, according to 2017 Prince Harry, pre-tainted, pre-Megxit Prince Harry, Prince William did try to help his little brother. Harry told the Mad World podcast, it's all about timing. And for me personally, my brother, you know, bless him, he was a huge support to me. He kept saying, this is not right. This is not normal. You need to talk to someone about this stuff. It's okay. I mean, thankfully, Prince William is not likely to see this, but it's not accurate. It's just not accurate, Harry. But wait, there's more. Fact-checking is fun. Prince Harry also claims that the media didn't care about wounded British soldiers in Afghanistan, the sun fighting back, stating, Harry appears to forget that in 2007, before his first tour of Afghanistan in 2008, we launched a campaign backing the Help for Heroes charity, which went on to raise 370 million pounds and our first Sun Military Awards, the Millies, saluting the bravest of the brave, launched in 2008 after being planned before he headed to the war zone. That's called receipts, Harry. Look, I applaud Prince Harry for using his platform to give a voice to the forgotten. But when you lie, either intentionally or unintentionally, your truth, my truth, whatever, you completely distract from all of the good that you're trying to do. PR-wise, Heart of Invictus looks great on paper, but it will not change anyone's hearts or minds that have been disappointed by Harry's actions over the last three years. Alternatively, if you already loved Prince Harry, you probably truly believe that he didn't have the support he needed from his family and that the media abandoned wounded soldiers. That's his truth and you're sticking to it. But I mean, it's a seed. It's a tiny seed in a very big PR strategy. And if Harry continues to focus on philanthropy, things could improve for his brand. But this alone does not really move the needle. One user did leave a comment on my Instagram about Harry trying to use the 26th anniversary of Princess Diana's death to promote Heart of Invictus, commenting, we know that now every mention of Diana on her anniversary will also mention Todger's new project. I think you're probably right. I do think it was probably calculated. I don't know if I have an opinion on it. Analytically, it's a home run. According to a public survey commissioned by Ranker, Princess Diana's funeral was ranked number one in the category of most memorable celebrity funerals. The princess also comes in at number 13 on their list of the most powerful women of all time before Mary, mother of Jesus. She also came in ahead of Buddha and Moses in the category of people who made the world a better place. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Harry and Meghan, are totally trying to hijack the memory of Princess Diana to bask in her sparkle. I think most of the public recognizes it by now. So yeah, he probably did do it on purpose. Astute of you to notice.